Why, hello there. It is I, the Cheesy Cat, and we are back with another episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Anyways, let's get going. Last video, we ended off um, just right here. Um, I should be able to see him. There he goes. The man himself, Prince Sidon. I cannot take a picture of him, however, because he is not a compendium item, or what you want to call it. Um, I would like to not shoot my arrows, for one. Um, stop horse. Do this. And nope, we are not allowed to bring our horse up into this area. At all. I wonder if I can cheat my way to doing it. L let's l let's cheat, guys. I'll be right back. Hopefully we don't kill him. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Okay, you can do it. We c we can force we can force him. Nope. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. Oh, nope, nope. It won't let us. Sadly, we cannot take our horse into Zoro's domain. So sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to stay here. I'm sorry. I must leave you. Dang it. <laughs> Horses would make so much faster of this area, but sadly, we cannot. So, end the memes. We have Prince Sidon right on top of us. Um, let's, let's not say it that way anymore. <laughs> say hey there, young one. Up top, above you. <coughs> Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Aha, ah. uh -huh, a Hylian. Yes, I knew it. I hate how they just gave him so little time to voice act. Of course. Oh, pardon me. I am Sidon the Sor Zora Prince. Sora Prince. <laughs> Anyways, he's gonna do that little motion right there quite a few times. I might use it as a thumbnail. And what is your name? Go on, please tell me. Um, my name is... Oh, we don't get to pick our name. Link? Your name is Link? What a fantastic name. Hmm, though I cannot shake the feeling I have heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it is a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. I've seen the way you work. I can tell how by, by how you carry yourself that you are no ordinary person. Oh. Link, you must be a strong warrior amongst the Hylians, correct? Not particularly. That is correct. Haha, <laughs> just as I suspected. I am a Zora Prince after all. I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. Yes, exquisite, exquisite. I have been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man like you, Link, who carries himself with power. This right here. We're holding power. The Triforce of Power. <laughs> right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from the Divine Beast Varuda. Oh, so it is raining forever and we can't do anything about it? Please promise you will help us. We need your strength, warrior. Won't you please come to Zoro's domain with me? Well, we can't really say no if we want to continue on the journey. Wow, really? Thank you, Link. You are indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zoro's domain will be safe for certain. No time to waste. Hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you will need to go straight along this path. And basically on the path we follow the lights. As a Hylian, I know you are unable to swim up the river. As such, the path to the domain may be a bit treacherous. You'll likely have a tough fight in storm. There are monsters up ahead that fight attack with electricity. Don't give up. I believe in you. Perfect. And he sits there, his mouth gets a little closed, and there you go. Oh, that's right, I have something I would like to give you. This is just a small trinket to show that I have faith in you. Gives us Electro Elixir. He has no faith in us at all. <laughs> Basically, this is a pretty darn good item for upcoming ma upcoming matches with enemies. 
Um, we'll we'll see what happens there. But six minutes of this resistance, not only level one resistance, but level two resistance to electricity. Who is a drink that will increase your resistance to electricity? I am not sure why, but its effect do not seem to work for Zora. Perhaps because it was made specifically for Hylians. It should work wonders for you, though. I shall go on ahead and make sure there is nothing strange going on where you are headed. I am counting on you. And he does this cool flip right into the water. I wish we were Zora. Jeez. And, well, reach Do Zora's domain. Main quest. Well, we are here. This will be the path to Doros Domain, the treacherous journey, and the water that is... Please excuse me, but why Why do you do this now? Why? Why do you hurt me so? <laughs> just, just the pain and suffering in Link's eyes. The pain and suffering. All we know is pain. All we know is suffering. The dreams never end. And we can skip that. Let me skip it, come on. The blood moon rises once again. It won't let me skip it? Okay. Please be careful. I think it's odd how it didn't let me skip it. But at least that's over with. Speaking of blood moons, if we can get to a pot in the next- oh crap. Let's get rid of that Octorok real quick. Actually, while we're at it. Is he trying to throw boulders out of us? Who, who does he think we are? We are? We, this is Link here. Okay, come at me now. You're too weak. Yes, please. And turn this way and poke. I just want to collect him. Collect his stuff. He doesn't have anything um, super worth getting, but for elixirs, it's, it'll be pretty decent. So, let's go on and explore Zora's domain. Oh wow, I hit him on the right spot and get all that mighty carp. Whew. Ooh, buddy. He was a bit hungry there. Now here's some more zap shrooms over here for electric resistance. I'm pretty sure I talked about that in the previous video. Um, nothing there. But, let's see. Nothing here, I bet. Yep, just as I thought. So as I already said before, it's raining, you won't really be able to get items that you want. What items? What am I trying to say? You won't be able to fly around as you like, um, climbing walls and all that, all that stuff. Zap shrooms for me, probably won't use them, well, you'll see, oh shoot. That is a... I already have a picture of him, yep. Okay, just... Just, just die. Just start dying now. There you go. Let's see what weapons I have. Have I taken a picture of that? No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, this is gonna be interesting. That'll do. Arrows! Oh, this area. Can't carry any more of those, but I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of great bows, so... No need to worry about that. Traveler's Sword. Don't need that either. Um, this is a good spot to get those specific items if you haven't got them in your compendium yet, though. So yeah. Just preparing you for the future. It would be nice if this game was set up so we can just play specific parts of the run. Well, specific parts of the game. Oh, let me not use my claymore because I'm not sure I've taken a picture of it just yet. There you go. Just just flop on there for me. Look at this. Lizophos 
two air two five times arrows I'm just like what is going on here so many arrows for what who's who's giving us his, these arrows who's giving them these arrows and they don't even have a bow <laughs> jeez oh uh, jeez well we are going to try and bomb this here without totally losing everything and that works oh perfect both of them re didn't really fall log going down the river but yeah we, we will not be able to swim if you want to catch fish in this area you gotta throw a bomb grab cryonis um move back boom oh god there's an octorok then from here you just grab your fish and swim to the block grab your fish swim to the block avoid the octorok don't die get good don't die oh ooh, the dodge and I hit him no I didn't I just hit his grass Okay, I broke my bow. Let's see. Well, let's set up some cryonis barriers here and start swimming. Oh, my arrow. Will the cryonis stop it? Well, I got all the Hyrule base. Let's not lose all our stamina just yet, though. And we're good. So if you do want to get what's in the water, that's how you do it. That is definitely how you do it. Now you'll want to follow along the path on the bottom. Nothing really there. Another one of these freaking Octoroks. I think I'm just going to start skipping these guys. Well, I can't really skip this one. Oh, and he... He just juked me. cool thing about jumping into the water is when you jump into it Link will do a little dive it looks cool so yeah the reason why I said we couldn't really ignore it because of this I don't want to ignore this Wh who do you think I am I'm not gonna ignore that oh look a zapture and boom <gasps> beautiful I'll definitely take that use this right here hopefully don't blow myself up oh god there's fish down there, that's why it's saying take. Oh, we got a diamond. Awesome. Most precious gem one can find in Hyrule. Its signature sparkle has charmed Hyruleans um, for generations. As such, it has sold for a very high price since ancient times. So Hyruleans, just anyone who lives in Hyrule. Hylians are the humans that live in Hyrule and like the actual humans. Lots of mighty carp here. We'll be using those soon. So yeah, there's a rare ore deposit right there. You'll want to definitely blow that up. Have I already... Okay, yeah. Let me put that away. I'm trying to kill myself here. Not sure what's going on there, but that's out of our beaten path, so we don't want to do that. Hey, Link! And... Guess who says hi to us? Sorry for calling out from the river. Since I pressured you into coming, I not sh I was not sure you would really come through. I am pleased things are going well. Ever since this strange occurrence, there have been a lot of monsters around here. Be careful as you proceed. And hurry, all of my fellow Zora are actually ac anxiously waiting your arrival. Jeez. Blah, blah. Reading. Reading issues. We will, we will get better as time goes on, I hope. <laughs> I've always had like just minor reading problems. We get another traveler's bow in case you broken a previous bow. But speaking of breaking previous bows, we're going to grab that and use the traveler's bow. Okay. I don't know what those are for, but we're going to leave them alone. Now we're climbing up. Oh. Get in some places. We're getting places. Let's go. I'm gonna rush. Gotta run. 
Um, oh, okay. Don't want to get hit by those. Do not get hit by those. You'll probably get pushed in the water. <laughs> that would suck. Oh, we have a enemy right here. Am I able to sneak up on him? Does he turn around? Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a climb. Jump and... Oh my gosh, that was so beautiful. Three in a row. And there we go. So easy enough. We get tons of arrows from these guys. If you need arrows... Oh. Hardy Truffle, boom, we found it. We found the Hardy Truffle, guys. Just take a picture of that big old thing right there. When you cook this, it increases your maximum hearts. And not only does it do that, it actually... Oh, we got some more enemies. Obviously, we didn't get to a cooking pot in time for... Shoot. He turned around just in freaking time. Well, we'll be coming around that way soon. No, we won't. Oh god, there's one up there too. There's one up here too! They're everywhere. There's a bunch of hardy truffles. They don't see me. We're just gonna try to go around this guy. Hightail lizard try to hightail out of here. Now, since it's raining, your stealth does go up just a bit. Turn around, buddy. You don't see me. Turn around. Turn around. Ugh. Oh, he's just gonna stay there. What a crop. Okay, he saw me. Soldier spear. Have I taken a picture of that yet? Jeez. Nice miss. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and start. Actually, we got some soldier's broadswords we can use. Soldier's claymore. Well, let's put one thing straight. I can get rid of this because I won't need it. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna compendium some stuff here. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm really needing to start doing that right now. Okay, got this Knight's Claymore right here. Definitely something I want to take a picture of. I'm going to take away that because it's messing up with the lighting. It's probably a good item for using to just light up the area if you want to get better pictures. But I want all my pictures to look the same, of course. Boom, that was so perfect. Um, let's see. I can drop that. It's about to break anyways. Claymore. Got it already. Just trying to make sure. Let's drop that off here. Alright, let's look at the compendium real quick. Totally skip that. By the by, the self chest guard over there is highly recommended. While you worry, the f your foot starts are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense. Small price for the extra stealth. Well, okay. 
So, as you can see, the prices are quite outrageous. But this is what I kind of I didn't I kind of overreacted with the compendium. I only needed like one item <laughs> pictured but uh then i remembered this um so i'll be right back because i only have 910 rupees and yeah all righty spent a little time deciding what to sell and now we can buy this stuff Ooh, the stealth types 600 rupees oh the pain no give it back the stealth chest guard Oh, 700 rupees. Give it back. And then... Oh, let's not read rumor mill. 500 rupees. That is all of our money. Gone to clothes. Who knew someone could spend so much money on clothing? <laughs> Anyways, I'll be right back once again. Uh, we don't need that quest. Anyways, be right back. Alrighty. Here we are at the giant ferry. We're going to enhance these. Look, blue nightshade, which we have a ton of. Uh, there's actually like a whole bunch of blue nightshade all in this area. So obviously not, not hard to find. So yeah, we get that one level of defense. She'll tell us about sets, but we can't really do uh, sets because we can't upgrade anything twice just yet. But we will get the ability to upgrade uh, stuff twice. That's basically it. And mm -hmm. let's enhance that last ah. little bit for the ultimate defense. Mm -hmm. And boom. We have a fully one level upgraded set. Which offers us nothing yet as part of a set bonus. And she'll tell us, oh, you don't have anything else you can upgrade. I wanted to, but not, and that saves us pressing A or B. So now let's go back. Oh, we want to take a picture of that bright eyed crab. He matches very well with the background. I want to make sure I get a nice, good picture of him. I do have the stealth clothes on, so it will be pretty easy to get that replaced pictures. Oh, we're getting real close. Beautiful. Yep, let's do that. And that's a perfect picture. Then we can just sneak up on him. And just smash A. Bright-eyed crab. So, replenishes stamina when cooked. So we can definitely use those. That is another character. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> character is just a bad word. Another creature in this area. And I'll see you back where we left off. Now, if you look real good in the water, um, you can probably find a volt fin trout. And I, I'd say you guess what that does. Um, let's go ahead and... Dang, there's quite a ton of fish here. Um, let's not do that. We want to take a picture of the volt fin trout. Okay, he's really, really moving there. Really moving there. Okay. And that'll have to do for now. <laughs> and then I'm just going to blow up all these fish. So again, I will see you where we last left off. Now I can continuously say this will be it. This will be it. But we keep running into new stuff. Here we have a cold darner. Which is basically the equivalent to a warm darner. But it's the cold kind. So you can just imagine what it does. And I didn't even know you can get these here. Come on, buddy. We just want a picture of you. We just need a picture of it. Oh, it landed. Nice. Boom. We got it. So we can get a good picture of that. That is better. And slowly walk up to it to steal it. Dragonfly prefers the cool shade of trees to the warmth of sun. Its wings disperse heat from its body, which can be cooked with heat resistance relix relixer, blah, 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 blah. Once again, I'll see you right back. All right, here we are. <laughs> Took a little bit extra longer than I thought it would. Um, have I taken a picture of you yet? Yes. Okay. Now we can do the sneaky stuff. 
So since it's rainy, I might be able to just sneak up on this guy by walking. So we can just slow down a bit. Regular walking speed. And sneak strike. Boom. Okay. Well, we're about to break this. I could have sworn there was two in there. Nope, just looks like one. Oh, but it's a blue Lizhafos. We got a picture of you already. Okay. Well, time to use the ice rod. Now when you ice up an enemy, any weapon that you use next on it will do double damage. Easy pie, see? Oh, and they left us a little bit of food along with some Boko Spears. Roasted base for us. Um, however, Boko Spears are pretty cheap. And we already got pictures of all of these. But look, you got your whole Lizal full set ready for you. But we'll leave those there because we don't need that. What we need to do is bomb this for ores. Oh, we got an opal. Nice. That's relatively decent. And since we broke our melee weapon, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to start using these rods here. The main, the main reason is to start breaking them because we already have pictures of them so we don't need to continue that. So let's just collect a little around here. Here's another area where Lizalfos like to hang out. You'll want to be very careful. Come on. Stop crouching, buddy. Stop crouching. Okay, we all need... We'll need a better weapon if we're going to try to sneak strike him. Oh god. You don't see me. Um, they see- they very much see me. Oh my. I came- I came from here from the wrong angle. So, I kind of took a shortcut to this area. Um, what's really supposed to happen is... When I come right here, I go through this hole. And when I go through this hole, we have a little tireless frog. <laughs> we have a little blockade right here. And we're going to burn it up. At least it should start burning. There you go. And the rest of these should catch on fire just fine. Continuously catching on fire. And then there's a treasure chest there. So I just got a little carried away because there's like a um, Lazalfos camp off the beaten path. But there's a treasure chest here that you want to grab for 50 purple rupees, which we desperately need after buying this stealth set. So when you come right here, the Lazalfos are going to see you right away. So my main tip is to either wait until he's turned, grab this arrow, and run backwards. They'll start shooting shock. Oh, there was a shock arrow on one of the trees, so boom. Easy. They can't see me. Dude, you can't see me. What are you what are you horning for? Stop horning. That doesn't that sounds weird. Let's not talk about it. So now they've forgotten that I exist. Oh god. No, you can't see me. Stop that. Turn around. I need, I'll need you to turn around, my friend. Well, we're going to take the right side then. So the main part is don't go straight to them. You'll want to flank off to the side, hide. And when this guy looks away, that's your chance to either get a direct on his face, speaking of directly on his face we'll want a pretty strong bow to get the one hit kills so once he's turned away you can start walking 
towards other ways. He's starting to get suspicious. And he's suspicious. Dang it. <laughs> so we're just going to hide right here. This is this part is really 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 tedious. You could just go in all guns blazing, but you might get shot by a few shock arrows, and that's what the elixir is for. You don't want to waste your elixir on something lame, right? So we now can hide right here. Right in plain sight. And you see how perfect that is? And we can shoot him in the eye and look at that one hit kill. Oh, well, time to go again, guns blazing. Now, these people are going to drop a ton of arrows. Um, you will never have to worry about arrows again. Just don't get shot by these guys when you're near water. Because you will, you will cause death to yourself. Okay, guns blazing. Oh, I missed the uh, the direct the direct shot. I want the directs. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, you don't want that hat to you don't want that to happen. If it hits the water, that will happen. There are some shock arrows around here. Definitely grab them cuz you will need them for later. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so if we keep hiding, we should be able to avoid any more prolonged encounters with them. Okay. Okay, not getting the dirt. There you go. Okay, look at these arrows. Boom, boom, boom. Got some mushrooms too. Hardy radishes. We'll take those. Hardy Trouble, we'll take those too. We also take the arrows, direct that guy in the face, and boom, we did it. And he dropped Lizzle Bowl. Okay, take all the bees, run from the bees. Now that you're done beating up all these guys, however, which, however and which way you did it, you can now explore the area to your desire. Um, so. Blue nightshade, all the great stuff, all in every which direction. Um, nothing under there. There are a few shock arrows along the way that you will want to grab. One of those. There are a few on some trees, a few on these barriers. Tree branch, don't want that. Um, come on, let me grab it. There we go. There's some writing. Nope, that tree's just wet. I thought it looked like writing. <laughs> Sad me. So let's see. Lots of Lizzle Bowls in this area. So if you want to like get rid of all your Spike Boko Bows, go right ahead. You've you got a better weapon now. So once we're done with all this, we can start breaking stuff. So here's a few metal boxes, of course best way to break wooden boxes is with metal boxes. So make sure you do an even exchange between the two so you're not wasting any weapons durability. Okay, and boom. Broke two for one. I think that's it as far as those containers go. Um, there's this treasure chest right here. You will want to open it to get a soldier's bow, but of course my inventory is full So I can just mark this on the map boom Any treasure chest that you don't open Mark on the map because you probably will not remember that chest was ever there. I Know I wouldn't without that so once you're done exploring um, pretty good. So Soldier's Bowl is just going to be same strength as a Lizzle Bowl. And I'm hoping that's all the shock arrows. If you did grab them all, you should have four, I think. Uh, I don't know why I have... Actually, I know why I have 15. Um, coming up to Hey Tenno Tower... No, 
Which one is it? This tower right here, Laneru Tower. There's a group of three archers that drop all the elemental arrows. So check a previous video on that. They drop three bundles of five each. That is insane for elemental arrows for just one drop. So I was blown away when I saw that. So definitely check out that previous video if you want to know where to grab the, all that. Because it's a very specific spot. And yeah. Alright, let's grab everything we can here. So many hot foot frogs are good for um, speed. Hey, over here! And now we're getting closer. Sorry for calling from so far away. The domain is still a ways off, but you're making good progress. I shall be along soon myself. It won't be much longer. In the meantime, I'll be cheering you on from here into the river. So hang in there. You can do it. Stay strong. And wave goodbye. Well, Zora's domain is going to be up there somewhere. Well, it's in this direction. But as you can see, we can't really see it yet. So we still have to go around look at this path we have to take or you can just attempt to climb there are a few of these up here I'm actually gonna use a sword to break them because trying to use a bomb would just totally mess it up and I, I have weapons to go around for quite a bit so going around this way it's very dangerous, but if you can see, that's just the area we've just came from. So yeah, crazy. Crazy, huh? Anyways, the, la the lamp posts just guide the way. Oh, there's another cold darter. I'll want these for a hot area, of course. Let's not try any more water stuff. Tireless frog, beautiful, another warm, a uh, cold darner here. Bada boom, let's go. Keep your eyes peeled and you'll grab everything you need. So anyways, once you get into this area, it's going to start thunderstorming. And we'll talk about that in the next video. Yay! <laughs> Thunderstorms. So anyways, um, oh wow, I see something weird up there. So anyways... If you liked the video, which I hope you did, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, blah blah blah, you know, <laughs> you know the stuff, the like button, the thumbs up, you know, I'm just changing a few things, I'll talk about it in the next thing. Of course, next is to comment, any suggestions you would like, any requests you would like, just throw some comments in there, tell me how I'm doing, how you like the videos so far, if you think I'm being too boring, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> and then lastly is to subscribe, obviously I have this whole game to do on um, video, so we're gonna have quite a bit of videos, uh, quite a lot, so yeah. <laughs> But either way, um, we've reached our time limit. This is the Cheesy Cat, and I'll see you in the next video.